Imagination is an inseparable part of our humanity. It's part of the way in which we distance ourselves from ourselves a bit, learn about ourselves as if we were something else. Being able to talk through metaphors, being able to talk through analogies, and then take the big ideas from that and apply them back to our lives. Some religious faiths have been, you might say, at war with the imagination. I have been very suspicious of the way in which images, and particularly myths and legends and stories, might possibly delude us. Fantasy requires you to accept the existence of other realities, other worlds, provides an opportunity for spiritual themes to be explored. Certainly the classic works of fantasy, the Tolkienian, C.S. Lewis fantasy, and then a lot of modern fantasy, it's rooted in the idea that there is a spiritual battle, a spiritual world. It all involved that sense of a cosmic conflict, of the reality of invisible forces, of things that can't be explained by the laws of science and the laws of physics. It's that spiritual element that make the stories of Narnia and Middle-earth not just bestsellers, but cultural phenomena that continue to this day. It is a remarkable thing that some of the very best, purely imaginative literature, if you like, fantasy literature, has actually been written by Christians.